All right, we're gonna do a kind of a test dig over here. According to my maps, there were some kind of buildings or structures over this way in the 1870s. So I got the map on my GPS that I got for my birthday yesterday. It's uh see it on the camera or not but yeah right there's the railroad tracks which have been there since the 1870s and there's some kind of little structures right here so I'm going to check it out see if we find anything along this it's right on the other side of uh, Dustin Pool uh, that will be cut out if I find anything good but don't it'll stay in but for right now we are going to check this out and I probably won't have the camera up much because it's windy and a lot of traffic so I'll find anything I'll be back with you in a minute uh, we made it up to a clearing up here and uh, I actually got a 70 73 signal old whiskey bottle which goes in the trash pocket and an old 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 beer can top so well I know there's people here just the question now is did they drop anything good or is it just all trash so that's what today is today's a learning experience find out what we're looking for so, I'll be back with you here in a short. Hopefully, next one is a good one. Be back in a short. All right, we're on hole number three or four. This one gets marked. That is a horseshoe. Well, half of a horseshoe. And I guarantee you, there haven't been horses down here in a long time. And the uh, rumor is. That industrial boulevard right down this way used to be the back part of the horse tracks back in the day. So to find a horseshoe, that's a pretty good, that's substantial. So I will be marking that. All right, I'll check you here in a bit and see what the next one is. All right, I want you to check. Now look, that's where all the houses are. There's two, basically, boulevards. There's one going north and one going south. Okay? And then you come over here, there's this fence. And there's railroad tracks back there. So I'm guessing that a cop pulled somebody over and they had to get rid of the evidence really quick. Yeah. with the weather the way it is be able to make a video of uh, this is basically just a um, I guess a test survey see if there's anything here that I really want to look at like I said the horseshoe is a really good thing it really is but this is gonna have to be done before summer hits because this is all thorns you can see right up there this is all thorns in the summertime, so I gotta hit this as quick as I can before everything starts growing, growing. So let me get back to it. We've got about the yeah, roughly about another hour, hour and a half before the sun goes down. Before I have to call it a day. So here we go. You know those moments that you just sit there and go. Holy cow, I wasn't really sure that it would work out, that I would find something. 
I do believe it's a cheapy, like aluminum or, but I found a ring. That is so cool. I'll clean it up better whenever I get home and see what we got. It's trying to be a shiny, but I think it's a fake shiny. Alright. Um. Cool. We're on a roll. Oh, well, kinda. I guess the pot pipe don't count. So. I'm going to get back to this. i got to mark this spot and get back to it. So, I will be back. Definitely going to hit this a little harder. So, I'll be back in a minute. It's getting really close to that time. But, right here, you can see it. See that lip? That's a pipe. It's huge. I can't get it out. There ain't no way. It would take me half the summer to do that thing now. Because that signal started right up, right there and came clear down to here. So, and it's 80. If that dates back to mid 1800s, that's probably a copper pipe. Or something to that effect. I'm gonna start working my way out. <clears throat> like I said, this was just a, a test. See if I can pull my uh, information off of uh, my GPS onto my laptop. Show you what I'm working on. Maybe if it works. If it don't, well, you know. All right, I'll be back with you here in a short. As it's getting dark, it's not going to do me no good today. But let's see. We got a train coming. As you can see where I'm at, look at the bricks. That's old school's tree. Because none of this is very big. But that is old school. So I'm going to check this hillside and then I'm going to get the heck out of here and get home. I'll do a follow up. Show you what little I got. <clears throat> but what I got. Is very, 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 very cool. Because it's adding up to the stories that I heard. So. I'll be back with you here shortly. Hmm. On my way out. It's a Michigan. State quarter. Yet or not. Oh well. But it's a quarter. Huh. I'm not on the way out. And I mean, I'm in the middle of a jaggedy little as the train starts. That's the noise you're hearing. Yard engine's working. He's building a train. <clears throat> you don't know nothing about trains, don't worry about it. They're basically taking cars from one train that was supposed to come here splitting it up and sending each cars to where they're supposed to go from here there you go but sorry about the wind we're on our way out the dust of dawn lights are coming on on the billboard so it's time to head out i'll talk to you after i get out of this mess talk to you in bed all right i haven't moved from where i was at because i stood up Got a heck of a squeaker right there. I figured since I don't have a whole lot of footage, we would dig this together. Oh no. 
I think it's under. Oh no, it's just a stick. Alright. No, it's a root. Hey, I found a dime. Who knew I'd come out of here 35 cent picture? It's a 66. I don't think that means much, but okay. It's close to being silver. Squeeze in that pocket. There's something else here. Sorry, I'm holding you guys down again, eh? There it is. Another dime. I have a spill. I'll get the date later for y'all unless it decides it wants to focus now. I just did a, <laughs> a review on this camera that said that it does real good with focusing. <laughs> it's going to make a liar out of me today. That's my shovel. All right, one more. I'm gonna stand up and hit it with the big gun. And if I don't got nothing, we're gonna get out of here. Uh oh, my camera just came red light. I will have to be back with you if there's anything else. My camera just went to red. Means I'm running out of battery. And of course, I didn't grab the other one. So I'll be right back. I'm right next to these telephone poles. So I'm guessing it's part of it or a torpedo. I'm off a far, long way off from the ocean, so I don't know. You tell me. All right, we're still on our way out. I, I'm a sucker for punishment. I'm still detecting on the way out. I'm gonna put that in my good pocket just in case. It might be decent. I'll be back. Look, honey, I can bring parts of the telephone pole home and don't have to worry about getting in trouble. <laughs> Another torpedo. Alrighty. Let me get up and move away from here. I'm getting telephone pole parts that I don't need. we are back in a short. I gotta get across this room without getting squashed. But we did alright. Got a couple fine. The horseshoe is ultimate that proves the long-standing stories that the bottom half of this ugh, used to be a racetrack for horses so, there you go i'm on my way home i'm hoping and praying a little bit of help with the other video stuff i got that uh i have video to put out by morning so I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a test. I'm still not real sure about the GPS thing yet, but we're working with it. So I will catch you next video.